What's up everyone, my name is Nightro and welcome back to some more Pokemon Moon. In the last episode, we finally left Father Paradise and we went to Pony Island where we met with Hapu again. And maybe she's the Kahuna, maybe I don't know. But for now, let's just continue our adventure. We're supposed to go to. Oh wait, is it a night freaking thing? Whatever. We're supposed to go to the Shrine of Hope, which is where Tapu Fini lives, I guess. Oh wait, let that, that me go and get this. Okay, I thought I thought I couldn't get it, but I guess I could now. But whatever. Let's go to the shrine. This is gonna be interesting. Ah oh, damn, I keep moving the damn 3DS. I don't wanna keep moving it. And another cell. Sweet. I think I just realized I haven't even really found Saigard yet. To the place where I can obtain it in the first place, I should be saying. The Roots of Hope. What is this place? There is the air feels so oppressive. Boy, but if we go in there, maybe Nebby will return to normal. Nebby's not gonna turn to normal. Nebby evolved. The people believe that the guardian's deity of oh, this ruin, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurity with the mystic water. Yeah, that sounds promising. That's right, it does, Nairo. I'm going to give it all so that we can return Nebby back to normal. So, you, so just you wait, Nebby. But where is Nebby though? This time I'm going to be the one who saves you. Come on, Nairo, let's go. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be like obstacle where I have to use Mustel. Okay. This is where I'm gonna be using my shop, I guess. If we're going to break the uh, path, we'll need to move these huge frogs. That's what Hapu grandmother said, isn't it? Back. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. All oh, it's heavier than uh, than words came and express. Oh, this is a simple puzzle. I think. Well, to borrow my chance for multiple strength for this task. I read about it once in a book, even if I remember a writer it said. When getting a right from a right from a powerful machamp, Turner can activate Machamp's shelf by standing before before a rug and pressing okay. And we find ourselves getting frustrated, we should probably remember to step outside. Again for a bit of a perspective. Okay. Mm, let's see. Okay, I get it. I get it, I get it. We gotta move this, and then move the other one. Easy peasy. What? What did you say, Pinky? What did you say? Oh yeah, Pinky, did any Pokemon appear around here? Because I'm gonna need to check. Well, to see if, it, if something actually appears. Not gonna happen, that's for sure. It's happened twice. Yeah. Yeah, but a third time is not gonna happen. <laughs> I read about them, you know? A lot of sacred ruins and their guardian deity worship within within them. They go wherever they want, so it's easy it's not easy to meet them, according to the book I read. But if they are summoned here at a, at the ruins, they do some something appears. The book said they are all well kept. Capricious, okay. 
encounter encounter with them do not always end as a as you would yeah. Maybe that explains why. Even coming here to this ruins haven't haven't evoked any response from Navi. Well there's Hapu. What the heck? Ooh, sea crystal? No, he's not a sea bracelet. I give my thanks for your great blessing. As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people. So she is a Kahuna. And the Pokemon of Alola. Damn, my freaking hand hurts. Oh, so you two are watching. Yep. Vicky, nobody asked you. I asked myself. You cannot ask yourself something that nobody asked for. The Kahuna are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island each guardian watches over. Lily told me that you're pretty new to our, to our parts in Nairo. You came to Alola from far off. It must really be something then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a, as a stranger to our shores. My grandfather, my grandfather was also chosen for this honor, the honor of being our island Kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back, and we're, we were left without a Kahuna on Pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by a table back then. So I set out on my own, sort of a land challenge, traveling Alola and trying to grow stronger. Lily, the Kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Oh, of course. Then please, Kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to know about Lunala, who we paid tri uh, tribute at the altar of the moon. My mother disappeared into the beast world. I know that she was a terrible, per terrible person, but she is still my mother. I need to see her again to tell her something. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for, her, for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. The world of beasts, huh? Is that what things the things was they came to Pony Island a beast. Temple Feeding and, and I tried to fight it, but it nearly did us both in. We did not stand a chance. Alright, I will tell you what I want what I want to know. Oh thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much. Just that there is a ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is a sun flute. It seems that my mother had it. Oh, that looks uh, to be the flute that I used to recite the, uh, the legs on Ula Ula. The other is said to be held, at, held at on Executor Island. I do not know why they're up all, they're up all places, but it has it's, uh, it's been passed down that they're... What? My mouth is getting dry. But it's been passed down that they were where it belonged. Uh, Sticky to Ireland. I think I've read, I read about it before. It's an uninhabited island of the coast of Pony Island. Isn't that right? There's no reason to dally here. Let's go. Let us go and speak with the Seafolk chief. Lily, you take the uh, muscle. We proceed to Seafolk village. Okay. Is there anything here? Nope. Did 
going back to the village. I could, I could just fly there, what the heck? Such an idiot. It's a lot easier just to fly there than just walking around and running. Don't sass me. You cannot sass me. No, you won't. Thank you, Hapu, and thank you, Musto. I was friend too. A friend. An amazing an amazing trainer like Hapu consider me a friend? Thank you, Hapu. I will not give up uh, give up no matter what. To journey to Executor Island, you should speak with the chief of uh, the sea folk. I shall be waiting for your safety. Did you fight her? Yes, and Hapu was made a new kahuna. Oh ho, now that that's a that's a joy to my ears. Her old grandfather must be smiling down on us. Yes, Hapu will do her best for her late grandfather. As I must do my best for my mother's sex and for Nebby as well. And so, there's a place that we need to go. The Sticky to Ireland? Oh, you mean where the flute is? And how does he suppose to know that I was looking for the flute? Well, you two did meet the Kahuna already. And Pony Captain ain't around anyway, so I guess there's no point waiting on, on my, any trials. Alright, the SS Magic Carp will have you there and you'll think you're sitting in a dream. Okay. The SS Magic Carp. That's one heck of a name. Here we are at Stakirua Island. I heard that it is a place used to be a trial site though. That was a long time ago now. You go and good luck to the boat. Let's go find the flu, right? Trainers really can't go anywhere as long as they have their Pokemon can they? I think I'm get beginning to understand the, the appeal. What? No! Don't choose me! Little Panda Express. You sure, sure? I feel like like a trainer can open up the doors to any future as long as they have their Pokemon. That's what it looks like to me when I see you, Nairo, and Hapu, and How. What? Don't tell me. That tree is a freaking Pokemon. <laughs> that was right. That tree is a Pokemon. It's like a tall. Do not expect that. But I'm not gonna capture it. Hyper voice. 
Wait, it's a dragon type. Is that grass and fucking grass? There, there, there. I completely forgot about that. Mm. Okay, let's go capture it. Stay. Stay. I ain't got out. Secure war. Yes. Got it. E. He level up. Let's see the description. As it grew taller and taller, it outgrew its reliance on, on psychic powers. Well, within. <laughs> what? What? She's a lazy puppy. Uh, and it grew. It outgrew its reliance on psychic pile, power. Well, within, it awakens the power of a sleeping dragon. Okay. So that explains it. Phew, that was an executor, wasn't it? I think the good weather in Alola has led it to grow a bit more vigorously than it preferred. Oh, it's draining. Oh, it started to rain. Okay, is that what Pokemon is making that sound? It's, re it's reminding me of Six Sagun. Raining a little, huh? My skirt got all wet. Looking at the rain like this reminds me of the one time when I was little. She's always sleeping. <laughs> Sleepy puppy. It's sitting a scene in a movie. The man singing and dancing in the rain. He kept it in me so much that I had to try it for myself. My mother spotted me out in the rain and she was so shocked that she ran right out after me. Without even bothering to get an umbrella. And then she smiled and she danced with me in the rain. Of course, we both end up catching a cold. She let me sleep in her big bed with her. I was so happy that I kept waking her, waking her again and again, just to be sure it wasn't a dream. But then she changed, and all she would think about was the ultra beast and all the nebby. They both ended up suffering so much that I couldn't do anything. But you know what, Navro? Whenever I feel like there's nothing I can do. You seem to show up and you do something. Every time you show me that it's possible to do something. Even the first time we met, Nebby was being attacked and all I could do was looking on, on, in, a, on in a horror at the other paradise. All I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. Whenever I'm in a sort of trouble, you're always there. Um, Nightbro, what are you going to do once you finish your island challenge? Mm. Well, it's gonna be both, so... Let's go with I don't know. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Such a relief to know that even someone like you feels unsure at times, Nightbro. I think I'd like to become a trainer too, and travel together with you, Nightbro. That would be nice.
Huh? The rain stop. And it's a rainbow. Is there I'm not gonna think about it. Is there like a rainbow Pokemon? Maybe there's really a good omen sometime, wouldn't you say? Okay guys, I'm gonna stop that video right here. I've been recording for too long. And I better start editing soon, so guys. Thank you so much for watching my video, hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna do something afterwards, but first, start editing and then play some more. So yeah, so guys, again, thank you so much for watching my video, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!